Hi, it's Andrew here from Home Theatre Engineering, and yes, the day has come. We're about to take you on a tour of our demonstration rooms here in Western Australia. A few years ago, there was a revolution in home theatre entertainment. We've got better equipment, better codecs, better picture, better sound, and we can now exceed some of the best cinemas in the world. The picture and sound quality is absolutely stunning. Now, a lot of people haven't experienced that, and that's why we built this premises. We wanted people to see exactly what you can achieve when a home cinema is done well. So welcome, let's take a look around inside. This is obviously the entry or the foyer. Unfortunately, Enzo is sick today, so I'm having to shoot this on my own. But I wanted to explain a little bit of history. Uh, we both have some history with uh, theatre uh, or cinema. Uh, when I was 21, I was the manager of the Cinema City, the Academy and Piccadilly Cinemas here in Perth. And what we've tried to do in building this premises is actually bring a little bit of that theme of West Australian cinemas uh, into this building. So the carpet pattern is derived from uh, Cinema City. This candy bar here was designed by the guy who actually built the candy bars for Hoyts. Uh, we had to import this chap here, unfortunately. Um, <clears throat> and the wall colours are also taken from local Perth cinemas. So as you move around, the feel in here is very much as if you've walked into a, a local cinema. Obviously, we've got some memorabilia around the place. And through here, we won't go into there, there's toilets and kitchens and things like that. But this is, uh, this is the main reception area. So welcome to HGE's Cinema Complex. We'll move through and have a look at some of the other rooms now. So this room serves two purposes. It's obviously a passageway that leads from one cinema to another, but it's also our bio box and a little bit of a display area. So we've got some memorabilia over here. Um, and uh, Enzo's been the collector for a lot of this stuff. And obviously you'll recognize the themes and some of the iconic helmets and equipment uh, that have come from some very classic movies. Of course, over here we've got Darth Vader and we've got a collection of our discs as well that's available for us to play. Over here, this is an old CRT TV, and we've been able to get hold of over 100 trailers from original movies and TV shows, uh, and they're just scrolling through there, and it's actually really fun to watch how the trailers are made. They're very, very different these days. Now, the noise you can probably hear going on in the background, that's this incredible machine up here. This is the Barco Freya. This is a 7,500 lumen projector, and it's so big, we couldn't actually put it uh, directly facing into the cinema room. So we've got a window up here with a mirror in it and that shoots the movie directly into the cinema. Uh, so this, this is qu quite a piece of kit and you probably saw our unboxing of that recently. Moving down here, we've got the equipment racks for this room and I'll just see if I can open this up. In here, we have the Trinov 32 channel uh, audio processor and obviously we can see the volume uh, changing with that. We've got a Panasonic uh, UV9000. This is the amazing Mad VR which we'll be talking about shortly. And then we've got the Taurus power supplies at the bottom. And in this rack here, we've actually got five Parasound amplifiers and each of them is five channels on its own. There's 10,000 watts of power coming out of this rack alone. Let's take you through to the actual room. Welcome to Cinema One. This is our pride and joy. This is our flagship demonstration cinema. And what a room it is. So uh, we'll start off with the screen. The screen is a Screen Innovations Unity MicroPerf 180 inch screen. Um, and that gives us plenty of really even light in the room. Sitting behind this are uh, six speakers actually. They're rather amazing. They're the Wisdom Sage Line 2 um, speakers and there's two stacked on top of each other and they are bi-amped as well. Um, and so a bit like these uh, speakers here, they have an uh, array of uh, what are perhaps more traditional drivers and then they have their PMDs, their planar magnetic devices. But they're, uh, they're sh shorter than these and they're stacked um, uh, two on top of each other. All right, so that's the front screen. Obviously, what are the rest of the speakers? What we're looking at here are the L8Is. These are the surround speakers, and of course we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These uh, are, in Australian dollars, about $12,000 each. The magic of them is 
they're a line source speaker, so as you get closer to them or move further away, the sound doesn't really noticeably change, which means we can deliver amazing sound in each and every one of these seats. And then in the ceiling, we've got the IC7As, you can barely see them, they're a round in-ceiling speaker, and those also have a more standard driver, and then they have the PMD, the planar magnetic driver as well, and there's six of those. So in total we have, in terms of channel count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven on the uh, bed layer. We've got six in the ceiling. Then we have some very special subwoofers in here. These are the S90s. Now these are an in-wall subwoofer and they are the full height of the room. Uh, the port is at the top and these are what they call a transmission line subwoofer. And I've got to tell you, these beauties pack an amazing punch. I've never heard bass like we're getting in this room. And we've got four of those. So there's one here, there's one here, and of course there's two on the other side of the room. Now the whole room's been carefully designed and you can even tell from the back of the room here that our rear surrounds are actually tilted on an angle so that they deliver even sound down across the seats. So I'm sitting in the main listening position. This is the best seat in the house. And it is so because of the speaker locations, because this is where it's predominantly calibrated to, and because of our seating position in relation to the screen. But it's also a great seat because of these seats. So we have here two different types of seats. One row is the Manhattan Brooklyn Pro, and the other row is the Manhattan New York Pro, and they're all wired and ready to go. So I can just sit back and relax. Now, of course, there's the projector window where the uh, Freya shines its light onto the screen. This is a DCI projector. Um, it's a professional industry cinema standard, and the picture in here is to die for. But of course, that's backed up by, again, that Mad VR video processor, which allows us to do some pretty trick stuff, and we'll talk about that again in another video. Let's take a walk down to uh, room two. Okay, so here we are in room two. In fact, sneakily, this is actually room two and three. This is a smaller room. We've got three VIP seats in here, um, and these seats are the um, original seats that we've been using. These are the row ones, and the other cinema had the Manhattans, which is a different brand entirely. So you can actually try five different types of seats in this, in this building. Let's take a look at the screen. This is a 144 inch Series 3 Screen Innovations woven screen, but behind it, we actually have two rows of speakers. We have the uh, Priscilla P28s at the top, and we have the Crix Megaphonics along the bottom, and they're actually tilted so we get the right access or sound approach for the people sitting in the seats. And we can switch this room between a Priscilla room and a Crix room pretty simply. Um, sitting at the front of the room are two REL 1205s, and at the back of the room are two REL 15 inch subs, one in the corner, and one's actually built into the ceiling here, which is fairly neat. Okay, what else have we got in this room? Well, we've got an array of projectors, starting with the Barco Bragi Cinemascopes. This is a 5,000 pixel native cinemascope projector with amazing optics. We've got the Sony 790 here, and we've got a, a BenQ as well and that gives us a range and we've got some more projectors coming. So we'll be able to preview each of those projectors in here and we'll be able to do at least five of them, which is really neat. We've got four Atmos in this room. There were six in the other and they're in the ceiling. And again, we've got two of each kind of Atmos speaker. We've got the Priscilla's and we've got the Crix uh, Hyperphonics 45s. Uh, the Priscilla's are the P5s. And then of course, we've got our own custom factory built in Western Australia acoustic panels and of course the DC2 diffusers here. But these acoustic panels again have a bit of a trick. These house two sets of speakers within them and allow us to again switch the room around so that we can have the best of both worlds. This is a nice little feature and for some of you, you may pick it. We had this custom built for us. This is obviously to house all our projectors, but we wanted a pattern or some sort of detail on the side of it. And if you think back to the original Star Wars and the Death Star, this is the very wall pattern that's on the Death Star walls. And we had that recreated here uh, for this column, which is pretty cool. 
So there you go. At the moment, the complex has effectively three cinemas. Uh, the big one in Cinema I'm which we've just seen, this one here which holds two systems, five projectors, and um, between them people can then experience rooms at varying budgets and varying levels of technology. So that really brings to a close our tour of the new Home Theatre Engineering Cinema Complex here in Western Australia. Why have we built this place? What we wanted to do was create a place where customers come and see a range of products set up in various configurations and can discuss their hopes and dreams with us. Unfortunately, Enzo is not here to share this with me, which is a real disappointment, but I've got Leonardo instead. So look, if you're interested in home theatre, get in touch. We'll organise an appointment for you to come and have a look and a listen and to experience these rooms. Room one is absolutely out of this world. Um, if you've seen some of the posts and the reviews, the sound and the image in there is, is absolutely next level. So look, get in touch, contact us. If you're genuinely interested in getting a cinema, you're more than welcome to come and visit and we can discuss your plans with you. All right, get in touch through our website or of course, we're available through social media, through Facebook as well. So uh, from Andrew and Enzo here at Home Theatre Engineering, we look forward to seeing you soon.